Would you believe me if I told you that we are in the middle of the biggest revolution in the automobile industry since Ford's initial production line was revealed by Henry Ford back in 1913? You best believe it, electric vans will overwhelm diesel and petrol vehicles in no time. And this will happen sooner than we can imagine. Most companies have developed electric van solutions, and Tesla does not want to be left out as the electric van market grows. After all, Tesla is the largest electric vehicle company with its headquarters in the United States, so they have recently announced that it will be generating an electric van as well. The electric motoring revolution is gaining momentum almost every year, and to keep up with these stiffening emission standards, automakers of last-mile delivery vans and automobile models are rapidly upping their game to launch electrified vehicles into the market in response to the increasing demands, which are frequently driven by large city centers imposing more stringent clean air zones. Tesla has a lengthy list of future cars in the works, but it appears that another vehicle may be added to the list that includes the Tesla rocket-assisted roadster, Tesla Semi, and Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla Model 2 is also on that list. Here are some upcoming facts about the upcoming Tesla electric van that you don't want to miss. Elon Musk has often discussed making a minibus that will be completely based on the Model X, but this plan was never executed. The plan Musk had for creating a passenger vehicle for the sake of the boring company also did not work out, as the startup resorted to using Tesla vehicles for all the transit operations within their transit system. In 2018, Musk went on to implement a partnership between Tesla and Mercedes-Benz, as he thought that this partnership would help both the companies, but this never worked out either. Musk had the idea of an electric van for a long while. This can be proved from the conference call, which took place in 2020. Although he made it very clear that the production of an electric van would be highly dependent on the adequate battery supply at the company. Battery constraint is one of the most major issues which Tesla has been facing, and Musk has mentioned this time and time again. He also went on to say that making prototypes are tremendously easy, but when you compare making prototypes to actual large-scale mass production, that is when the work gets hard. He also emphasized that scaling production at the company gets very complicated with time. He has been waiting for an adequate supply of battery cells for a long time. To solve this issue, Musk has approached many companies in the past with the hope that they would help in taking care of this shortcoming, but he has not had much help. If they were to ramp their cells, it would solve the issues, but only in a temporary way. Reports indicate that Tesla is planning to buy all the supplies of battery cells that they can from all the manufacturers in the market. Most importantly, Tesla stated that the company expects to attain 10 gigawatt hours of production capacity at its 4680 cell pilot facility in Fremont in 2021 and 100 gigawatt hours of production capability in Berlin and Texas by the end of 2022. Tesla should add an electric van to its extensive list of future cars awaiting manufacturing, according to Elon Musk. When an institutional investor brought it up at Tesla's recent fourth quarter earnings, Musk verified the rumor that the manufacturer will be producing an electric van. Although Tesla has disclosed that it will be producing electric vans, don't expect to see them on the roads anytime soon, according to Musk. Musk has stated that the production of the electric van, as well as the Tesla Semi and several other Tesla projects, has been hampered by battery cell limiting factors. Musk also stated that there is a basic restriction on battery cell output. The major reason we haven't expedited new products is simply that we don't have enough cells manufactured. Musk also stated during the convention that it is difficult to appreciate just how difficult it is to scale output if one is not involved in manufacturing. He added that making prototypes is easy, but scaling production is very difficult. He also highlighted that the major company has not speeded up new products such as the Tesla Semi is that the company simply does not have enough battery cells for large-scale production. At this point, the only limiting factor for trying to bring electric vans and other vehicles to market is mainly battery accessibility. For so many Tesla products, particularly those such as the van or the company Semi and Cybertruck, that also requires more battery cells than a regular vehicle, so it's still a major barrier. Tesla is doing everything it can to ramp up battery cell manufacturing so that it can be used in the manufacture of his long-awaited list of vehicles to be constructed. The carmaker said that it is presently working with many of its battery partners, including Panasonic and LG.
He goes on to say that the company has been very clear with its suppliers that it will take as many batteries as they can yield as one of the most expensive devices of the car. Musk has long been finding ways to make batteries cheaper and easier to produce. He's also worked and provided incentives for a more robust battery supply chain on Tesla's Battery Day in 2020, announced in several early efforts the companies meant to accommodate for more efficient and cheaper battery cell. Concerning the manufacturing delays, Tesla stated that adopting the new lithium-ion phosphate technology will alleviate the market scarcity of battery cells, and the new battery production will generate six times the power of a conventional battery. The new battery technology that Tesla is also developing will have 370 fewer components than conventional batteries, making them simpler and faster to produce and requiring fewer resources. Tesla also intends to boost the manufacturing capacity of its 4680 cell pilot facility in Fremont this year, citing sufficient engineering confidence in its 4680 design, production process, and equipment, and this will help in the 100 gigawatt hours 2022 goal. Tesla should be able to generate battery cell scarcity using this new battery technology, which is one of the major barriers to manufacturing an electric vehicle. Musk has been talking about making an electric van or minivan for years now. In 2018, he wrote on Twitter that the company would be interested in collaborating with Mercedes on their Sprinter van project, but it never came to fruition. Also in the Tesla Master Plan 2 in 2016, Musk mentioned two new segments that Tesla plans to electrify large vehicles, and high-passenger-density urban transport. Musk stated at the time that both are in the early stages of development at Tesla and, therefore, should be ready for release soon. It can be observed that Tesla did not end up introducing the Tesla Semi, the heavy-duty vehicle, or the high-passenger-density urban transport that same year. Musk has previously discussed Tesla developing an electric minibus premised on the Model X, which also did not happen at the time. There was also talk about Tesla developing an electric van for Musk's Boring Company, which was proposed to seat up to 12 people with their luggage, expanding the capacity to 1,200 people per day or 10 million plus per year. And no further information was released about the Boring Company. All of these proposed electric vans and van-like concepts show that Tesla has plans to build electric vehicles for years now, but has failed on its promises and plans to build even minibuses. So the automaker could be a latecomer to the electric van scene because companies like Mercedes, General Motors, Ford, and Rivian have already begun working on making their electrified vehicles. Amazon bought a fleet of delivery cars from an electric vehicle startup Rivian last year, and GM has plans to put out electric vans this year. The concept of an electric van is really interesting, and it could be awesome to see a Tesla van on the roads anytime down the road, especially in this area where there is tremendous growth in the e-commerce section, which often needed electric vans, while it would be great to see Tesla officially add an electric van to its product line. Stakeholders are also expecting a lot from Tesla, as they are willing to invest their shares in all of the upcoming innovations Tesla will be coming up with. That's it for today's video. We hope you guys liked it. If so, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon to constantly receive updates on all of our videos. Till then, goodbye.